whatever we learned about strings in Python, uh, it's important for us to understand escape sequences. Escape sequence will allow us to use different quote structures, either single quotes or double quotes. When there's a quote, a single quote or double quote inside the string itself, we can actually escape it. And also working with special characters. So the first one we're going to take a look at is the backslash escape sequence, where if we went to use a backslash in our code, then we would, um, or in our string, I should say, um, be able to escape it. So let's go ahead and do a is equal to, so a is going to represent a string, and we're going to say this is a backslash. All right. Then we're going to put a backslash in here, close out our string, and hit return. Oh, syntax error. What's going on here is this backslash is actually escaping this um, quote here. So basically our string is not closing properly. We get a syntax error. How do we fix this? We do a is equal to, this is a backslash. And we do two backslashes and then close out our string, hit return, call a. Now, sometimes when you use escape sequences, we're going to get, um, in the raw string, we'll get returned, in this case, two backslashes. Well, that's not what we're looking for. So to overcome this, we use a print statement, print a, and we get the single backslash. All right. Another uh, escape sequence we can look at is the single quote escape sequence. And in that case, it's going to be b represents uh, another string. So let's say, let's uh, learn Python. But I'm going to stop right there, so I'm not wasting time. Uh, single quote, single quote. That's not going to work because this string is actually starting here, ending here, and then everything after it's going to be a syntax error. So to fix that, we got to do um, backslash quote, let's learn Python. All right. So basically, we're escaping this um, quote here and it's saying basically the Python, hey, don't treat this as a closing quote. Um, just this is going to be a quote and then our qu closing qu quotes over here so the string will work. So if we do B, we get let's learn Python. And in this case, when we use a raw string, we do not see the escape sequence. It's actually returned to us properly. And we can also do print B. All right. Let's learn Python. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, all right, next one we're going to move on to is the double quote. Now, if you try to use, say, a couple double quotes in a string, if you're like quoting a famous person, um, you might run into an issue here. So let's go ahead and do uh, C. C is going to represent a famous quote by Mr. Wayne Gretzky himself. And it's going to, instead of me showing you what would happen if I didn't do it properly? I'm just going to show you the proper way to do it. All right, so we got a we're using a double quote to cre create the string, and then we're going to use a uh, use Wayne Gretzky's quote on the inside. So we need double quotes there, and we're going to say you miss 100% of the shots you do not take, or something like that. Anyway, <clears throat> um, so we want to close out our quote. So we close out the double double quote here and then hyphen we'll say Wayne Gretzky wrote this or said this all right and we close out our string there now we hit return and uh, we'll call our string and you notice this one doesn't return to the uh, escape sequence as well so right now only the one, the only one that will do it in a raw string is backslash you miss 100% of the shots you don't take Wayne Gretzky all right so we can also do print C to make it look a little bit better. And there you go. So we got a double quote string with double quotes inside. So we got to use the escape sequence. Um, let's see. Here's another one. Sometimes works or doesn't work. Uh, I don't really know when you use it, but it's fun to play with a little bit. Uh, it's the bell or a ding. So let's take a look at that. We'll do f is equal to make my computer ding, all right, uh, backslash a, and then close out our string, hit return, now call your string, and that didn't work because we got to use a print statement, and what was that, f, 
mine doesn't ding. My volume might not be on. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I know one of my computers that didn't work. Let's try it one more time. Ah, uh, there we go. I got it. Um, but I have had previous students say it doesn't work for them. Uh, something you probably never use. It's just something cool with escape sequences. Now we could do something like backslash uh, when you write or backspace. So when you write your your um, string, it will actually backspace one to or remove uh, a character or a space or whatever you have there. I don't really know when you would use this either, but I'm going to show you. So we'll do G is equal to a string that's one, two, three, four, backslash B, five, six, seven. Close our um, string out, hit return. Call If we call G, we're going to get the um, raw text so it doesn't really do anything for us, the Unicode there. So we'll just print it. And if you notice, four was removed. We have one, two, three, four. Four is removed, so we got one, two, three, five. All right, so that's another one. Now here's one that you may use, and this is new line. So let's take a look at that. Let's do uh, h is equal to, this is my first line. And then we're gonna use backslash n, and this is my second line. And backslash n, this is my third line. And close that out, hit return, call h. And you notice the backslash ends are in there. Well, it's a, a raw string, so it's going to keep them in there for us to get, make it work properly. It's print h, and you can see this starts a new line at every uh, backslash n. So this is my first line, this is my second line, this is my third line. Pretty cool. Um, we can also do a horizontal tab. I'm going to clear my screen. It's getting a little clustered here. Let's do uh, i is equal to, uh, this is a horizontal tab, so that the backslash t will give us a horizontal tab, horizontal tab, return, uh, call i, and raw string once again, it just returns backslash t, but if we use print i, it gives us a horizontal tab over. All right, so I don't know how many spaces that is, but because there's a horizontal tab over. Now we can also do a vertical tab. We'll do J represents. This is a uh, vertical tab. Return. Same thing. We'll get the um, Unicode in there and then print J. There we go. There's your vertical tab. Uh, so that's escape sequences. <laughs> Be quite honest with you, the only time you're really going to use them is if you're escaping the quotes, like we saw uh, for a single quote, it's like this. For a double quote, it's like this. And you'll probably also use new line. And if you want to have fun, you use backslash A for the belt. But that's, you know, um, not necessary. So single quote double quote and backslash n are probably the most used ones. If you have any questions, leave a comment on our uh, forum at mastercode.online. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.